What's going on everyone? This is John with Long Haul Lifesavers and today we have a solution to every RVer's problem. Look at this door, it's just doing whatever it wants. We're going to fix that. Today we're going to be installing an RV screen door crossbar. Not this one, but I want to show you there are two sizes. You can get a larger one or the smaller one. Our friends opted for the smaller one. The tools you'll need are a drill, driver bits, drill bits, and a pencil. The first thing we're going to do is just line up this grab bar so we can see where we need to drill our holes. Only mark the holes on one side, get the pilot holes drilled, Then we're going to attach the one black grab bar handle. This will hold the black piece in place while we slide in the silver tube so that we can get our marks for the set screws. The reason we only attach the one side is because it gives you a hand free and that black piece stays in place. Now what you want to do is make sure there's enough tube between both of the black pieces to give you enough room to mount the other black piece on the left side. Once you roughly have an equal amount of tube in both black pieces, go ahead and mark where they land. Once everything is marked, we take everything back off the screen door. Now we can slide the silver tubes into the black handle up to your pencil mark and that gives you your mark for your set screw. Now we can drill a hole for our set screw and do the same thing to the other side. Now we change to the Phillips head bit and install our set screws on both sides. Now we take our assembled grab bar back over to the screen door and install it. Install the grab bar on the one side you already have the holes drilled, level the grab bar, and then drill your pilot holes on the opposite side. Once all your holes are drilled, go ahead and send home all the screws left over. It's that easy. Now we're going to install our tensioner spring on our screen door, much like you would at a house that has a slamming screen door. Don't drill your first hole at the top. Make sure you start at the bottom. Get it set just as low as you can. Drill your pilot hole and send home the screw. The reason you don't drill the hole at the top first is because you want to have a little tension on that spring when you're drilling the hole. Make sure you go far enough to the left towards the frame so that you don't drill through your screen door. Once your pilot hole is drilled, go ahead and send home that screw and then test it out. Now we've solved two major problems our VRs have, a place to grab, and now that pesky screen door isn't doing whatever it wants in the wind. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time.